Can you answer yes to the following question? Have you or a loved one ever served in the United States Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Coast Guard, or Merchant Marines, or in the National Guard or Reserves and ordered to active duty by the President of the United States? If you answered yes and were discharged under honorable conditions, you are a veteran. Whether you served overseas or stateside, during peacetime or a period of war, whether or not you saw or served in combat, you are a veteran. As such, you and your family may be eligible for benefits and services available specifically for veterans, including health care, vocational or educational training, and disability payments. If you yourself are not a veteran, chances are you know a veteran who could benefit from what you are about to hear. Since the birth of this nation, men and women have set aside their own personal needs to protect and safeguard the freedoms set forth by our Founding Fathers. If you were among the millions of men and women who have served this country, you have earned the respect and gratitude of a thankful nation. The sacrifices made in the name of freedom are countless, especially by those who have worn the uniform. In recognition of those sacrifices, we are determined to ensure that you know about the benefits and services available to you and your family. Through the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, or VA for short, the New York State Department of Labor, and the New York State Division of Veterans Affairs. Unfortunately, these benefits are often underutilized because of a lack of information and awareness of their availability. Because we care about your needs after service, we want to make sure you are kept well informed. So sit back and in the next few minutes, learn about just some of the benefits you and your family may be entitled to. Regardless of what branch of service you were in, there are many challenges you may face after being discharged, even if you left the military years ago. For this reason, it's important that veterans, like yourself, know about all the benefits and services you were entitled to, such as health care, compensation and pension benefits, educational opportunities, employment and training assistance, counseling services, substance abuse programs, and much, much more. At this point, you may be wondering, does it matter when I served? And what if I wasn't in combat? Would I still qualify for veteran benefits? Anybody who served on regular active duty in the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, uh, Coast Guard, uh, and in some cases the uh, uh, Merchant Marine would qualify. But also, uh, Reserve and National Guard who have been called to active duty by the President of the United States they would qualify as veterans for most benefits. Anybody who has served on active duty, even if they uh, was only a very short time, male, female, uh, in combat or not in combat, outside the country or just stateside, uh, if, if for instance somebody was in the reserve or the National Guard, they typically, unless they have been activated uh, for, by the President, they don't qualify. But if they became sick or disabled while they were in training, by all means, come in and see our folks. In the mid-1990s, the VA completely overhauled its health care system, placing greater emphasis on quality care and service delivery. With its numerous hospitals and clinics, the VA now outpaces private sector providers in both service delivery and patient satisfaction. In fact, the VA is now recognized as offering the best medical care in the country. This is based on a broad spectrum of measures from treating minor health concerns to caring for the terminally ill. Well, since the VA is a national program, our veterans can go to any VA facility in the country. As a matter of fact, there's over 1,400 VA facilities nationwide. Approximately 1990, I believe, um, there was a change within the VA system itself. We became a new VA. Um, with that new VA philosophy is that there was modernization within our technology. We have extensive diagnostic laboratory equipment. We have computerized tomography, 
MRIs, and PET scanning, just to name a few. The VA also provides a domiciliary program that provides residential, residential rehabilitation and treatment services to homeless veterans who may be in the need of mental health care, medical care, substance abuse, or maintenance health care. My family goes back to uh, basically the, uh, the Civil War. You know, my father was in World War I. My two brothers were in World War II. My one brother was in Korea and I was in Vietnam. The VA to me back then was something uh, for people that were weird and strange and uh, psych patients maybe. Uh, you didn't go there because uh, there was nothing wrong with you. I just drank to take away the pain and the misery. Walking the streets, um, how did I get here? How did I get this, this far down in my life? When I came to the VA, everybody in the staff was waiting for me. They didn't have to take care of me. They didn't have to help me. Uh, but they did because they wanted to, not because they had to. They gave me back my respect. They gave me back my, uh, my honor. To me, it's, it's come around 180 degrees. I mean, uh, I'm helping vets now, and the VA has taught me that uh, there's other roads to travel besides uh, drinking. Uh, like I said, I have a job back. A vet is a vet, period, you know, uh, and you're entitled to these benefits. Uh, you've earned them. Um, they're yours to use. Uh, how you use them is up to you. The point is that uh, whether you're a woman, a male vet or a woman vet, you know, use the benefits because they're there for you, you know, and uh, they were there for me. A uniform benefits package is provided to all our enrolled veterans. Some services that are included but not limited to are inpatient services, preventive care services, primary care services, long-term care, dental benefits, um, non-VA care. The myth is that veterans would have to serve in combat to be eligible for VA health care or have a service-related disability. Uh, that is totally not true. Uh, any veteran who has an honorable discharge, male or female, is eligible for VA health care services. Women veterans are eligible for the same services as our, as our male veterans. The VA does provide gender-specific services for our female veterans. One of the things that I think we're very proud of is that we have assigned a woman's health coordinator for each of the medical centers. And their responsibility is to really look at what the women need from that medical center and get them those services that they need, such as mammography, gynecological services, as well as sexual trauma services if they need it. So this person has been put in place to manage their care. We engage our patients at time of admission to discuss what they want, what they need, what their expectations are. We encourage all our veterans to use the opportunity of the medical centers to see what benefits are available to them. They need to sit down with our counselors. They are available to speak to, um, and they need to look in what is, what is available to them. And Medicaid, like we said, is a supplement. Matter of fact, Medicaid may be able to help veterans with transportation to and from the VA medical center for their VA appointments. Um, the veterans should contact a Medicaid worker for more information. I think we learned from Vietnam that when our vets came back that they didn't have point of contact. And we have taken that lesson very strongly and we have made sure that there is a point of contact at each of our medical centers to make sure that they get the medical care that they deserve to make sure that they've been assessed appropriately so that we can look for what their future needs are. It is a new system. It is a new VA.